DIY Jules here with another project of the day. So this dryer, which is a whirlpool of absolutely unknown series, this, that, and the other thing, is making the most serious. See, look at this. No serial numbers, nothing anywhere, right? Isn't that special? So, it's making this just outrageous clunking rumbling noise. And so, four YouTube videos later, and a whiskey. But look, I'm getting paid. See, huh? Look what I found so far. All right, so far my biggest ordeal has been getting this dang lower panel undone. Turns out, these little buggers. Right? Finding the release clips. Of course, I bent the living crap out of it. You know what? I'm so pissed off, I don't care. So, the top... Because every Whirlpool video on the planet shows to stay. All of the, the vent thingies, you know, on the top of the dryer. Well, mine doesn't, right? So here is where my dryer lint capture thing is. So theoretically, at this point, I should just be able to undo. There's a screw under here and a screw under here to get this panel off. Oh, but no! Now I have to figure out how to take this puppy off, too. So I'll get back with you in a minute on that. It just gets better, right? So here I'm thinking, okay, why not do this the hard way first? Let's unscrew that screw and unscrew that screw. Well, look, idiot! There's a release catch right there. Isn't that special? So now, I will remove this retaining screw I had for my safety, and I should be able to take the whole front of this puppy off! Yay! Alright, I need two hands for this. I'll be right back. Of course, there's some damn wire attached to it. Oh, I just love my life. I can't figure out the little wire thingy dingy. What I also find different on this setup than I have on all the other setups is that these puppies are here and not back in there. That's interesting. Of course. This is special. Do you think this is a fire hazard? Man, look at this. So I'm going to have to get, I need to see Anything in here is broken. Now that might be causing an issue. Seems to roll. I know that shot on my feet, wasn't it? Seems to roll freely enough. These wheels don't seem to be bad. Okay. That one spins nicely. I mean, the clip looks like it's in good shape. That one spins pretty free and true. Um, not seeing any problem there. All right, let me get this cleaned up and we'll see what happens from there. Handed one hit wonder on this one. Um, I didn't see anything wrong with the little roller wheelie things. I cleaned up what could have eventually burnt this house down. That's gonna get cleaned up in a second. I have reassembled my uh, lint trap and gotten that all packed up gotten this panel itself on now that I look I'm like that's disgusting you know I got the dryer and washer for free okay people so now what we need to do is reconnect this okay the other difference with this particular washer excuse me dryer is that the screws for the front panel are on the top whereas the rest of them are all on the inside so at this juncture I will tighten these screws down uh, pop the lid or close the lid and then plug it in and we'll see what happens if that didn't work <laughs> there's going to be more whiskey in the future well you know it's better. 
there's obviously something else wrong, but this is huge compared to what it was. So we'll just go back to the drawing board and figure it out later. Thanks for being so patient.